Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks and praise. Thanks and praise to the most high creator of nature. We do give thanks and praise. I must say, I went to court Friday. And it wasn't no fireworks. Uh, there was no trial. And because there was no trial, there was no fireworks. However, that judge and her, it has a officers of that court laugh at me, man. They laugh me to scorn in that court. Yeah, man, that judge laugh at me. And I guess why she laugh at me or what initiate that joke is when you know them are for them process and them have a bunch of prisoners and I guess I'm included in the prisoners or slaves and they carry on with whatever. What I noticed was the prosecutor didn't speak today, it was just a judge, a solicit, an offer trying to get me in bed with her. That's exactly what it was. Because I was prepared for a trial. That's why I said fireworks in court once them permit me to present my case. Fireworks. However, it was not a trial. So these people are now in default. The moment this examiner moved this case again without you know, presenting their case. They are in default. And I remember I was in a court in Kingston. And a gentleman, I don't remember. I don't remember if it was Maxwell, Sir Maxwell. I don't remember, but a judge, you know, pointed out to me, said the state really have three times to bring that case and then them have to dash it away. And at the time, when he might tell me that, he might tell me, say, all I need to do is bring the power of attorney only because the automobile is in my mother's name. So let's bring the power of attorney demonstrating the unregistered owner as my mom and giving me authority over that property. But I never get back to that court. Because they locked me up and sent me to GP for 45 days. And when I got out of the GP, because they had me in traffic court and in criminal court at the same time. So when the criminal proceeding come in, I, I got a psychological evaluation from the Honorable Chief Judge. Do you remember his name right now? You understand? But that's the same brethren where bow to I and acknowledge I and show I that respect. So under no circumstance never ever violate this brethren, even when him give me the psychological evaluation. I mean I won't call up them name too much no more, so it's a whole. You understand and them money of them all kind of plans for them future career. So them now go on associate with all a little simple man such as I if you say, yeah man, may really having him, him you know, he really come in front of me and yeah, him perform and do him thing. But yeah, the judge let me know say a three times them can bring them case and then them have to stand down. However, I know them have six months to conclude any actions where them I try to bring. Six months. And when them I carry my case all the way to 2024. Them in a default. Them in a breach of them own arrangement and agreement and contract contractual you know, say, construct where them create. So I make a present all of these things. Yeah man. So when me go to fair trial, this these people tell them do them own thing. Them adjourn this thing and I reset it because in fact, what really going on, even with the laughter, I sit through all of that. Because people remember this. When I listen to my old tape, when I go hear me say these things. When I'm on going to court and actually is in court 
I'm on at aloof. I'm on at goofy. And that's intentional. Why? Because I have to make sure so I hear these people clearly because I'm, I, I can never understand what is going on. You know what I mean? I will never be able to understand what is going on. And from me to understand the proceeding and what is going on, then it nullifies it. However, at one point, because inside of the courtroom so cold and then with the outside sit down at the heat so long and wait and all of these things come like me hear them, you know, get stuffy. So it takes me a minute to adjust myself to hear them clearly. So at one point I hear the very same so-called judge, this adjudication administrative examiner, what, what I'm called judge. They give themselves titles, call them like to elevate themselves. This lady call upon some council where they see them talk to all of the other little people that were in there. There's a bunch of people for me. And this council lady, I, I haven't seen her face. So I'm going to make sure I wear my glasses. Me as a man, I need glasses, you know, but I wear my glasses for clarity. And I man could not see this lady's face. I first me can't say, boy, this must be a cobia. One of them old cobia women that were in the court that act about them a council. Uh, this little obia woman stand up and try to talk to me and me I tell her I say if you if she, if them can't hear me, this is what me I say. You understand? Me now plea. Me I say the laws we wanna have here do not apply to me. I am not a citizen of Jamaica. So how can it apply to me? And me I, me I forget assertive on that little obia woman but she has one little it's a own a city's little raggedy something. And me now be rude or disrespectful. It's my view. My opinion, I was there first and knowledge. I don't know where them carry this old pop down woman, but she attack. And then the judge knowingly says she uh, act in such a way to naturally disqualify herself. That's what she tried to call them. not want the judgment where forward. Them know them not have no authority. Them know them not have no kind of control. They know. They are outside of law. They know it. So what this judge, in fact, was trying to do was to get me to plea. I'm like, plea? What do you mean? One of the times she had to tell the prosecutor, oh, could you initiate it? And then she catch herself. Because I remember, you know, the very first judge that I went to the first case, first hearing, I placed a document on that court challenging the notice of recognizance and that judge ignored that court document. She did. And said, she now go come in front of me. Me, I forgot to tell that to the next judge, which is this one I saw yesterday. I don't know if her name is Looney. Now, when I go in front of this judge Looney, this woman decides that she don't want nothing to do with this neither. So she went past it. Oh, no, no, in a default. You know, all the agency is in default. What do you think? I'm going to play this circus game with you guys. I cannot. Because I can't tell if you are fuck. I won't leave my house until 1 o'clock for that next court hearing. And I will give you only 30 minutes. Say, so when me get there, whenever me leave my house, you say by 2 o'clock, when me come and make my presence known, say, I am here, and uh, Unun are ready for me. When 2 o'clock come, I will leave. Then, Unun can send a police officer and initiate on a, on, a, on a notice of recognizance, which is fraudulent. So you see, it's not who laugh first, you know, loony. It's who laughs. Laugh. I mean, I have no laughter in my name. I tell them I blood for blood. But I go and say this. And I'll say it once. And I'll say it softly. It's all who of them name associated with this case. You see, they never have so much problem in me. Drop in front of me. And I now I go realize I'm feeling I see the body part separating three pieces, three separate and distinct pieces. That's when a man such as I, who is the righteous, will come to memory. Am I clean and am I pure? That's how I move. So when you come at me, that's all I'm going to have to move. So you say, Uno, we are bringing an accusation. 
Uno we are bring evil. Uno we are bring hurt. Uno we are bring damage. Uno we are carry me through legal process. Remember this word, judgment. Yeah, ma'am. I prepare myself for this trial in such a way where on Thursday night I keep a little party. I order some pizza and say, Mother, don't go sleep. I want you to share some of this pizza with me and, you know, play some music and celebrate. Because I say, well, trial tomorrow. Because I now submit and I now give in. So I know, say, you know, for the death sentence, decapitation for me. So I wear my full black. I never ever fancy up. I just put on a nice black t-shirt where, you know, won't affect me when them chop off my head. And I just put on a little black pants and I have on a Clocks, we are about 1995. My buy the clocks, eh? so the clocks are touch close to 30 years old. The shoes I'm wearing probably older than the constable where I bring the case against me. And in fact, I like the constable, not necessitating, but I like the constable too. I get to see a humane side of the constable. Yeah, man. And Andel Morgan. Yeah, man. I can't see, see a, a good youth. And one thing I can't say, no, Andel Morgan. You see this case? Go and carry you to a level where you can go do a little legal aid course and then improve and do criminal justice. And you will be an exceptional attorney once you probably are, you know, pay attention to information when me share and then you do your own due diligent research. So this is what I have to say to you, Constable Andel Morgan. Yeah, man, your future is very bright. Only if you do what is right. Um, I'll know you're not doing nothing wrong. You're just doing your job. Just like even the so-called judge, Looney. They're just doing their job. But them know a little bit more for no say. I'm not putting my name down there to make no order against this man. They know enough to keep running away. But I do not have that time nor that luxury. So as the tape that I made before, this is when now I'm going to prepare a claim. And they got justified within my claim because I got use their own words, their own information. Remember, you know, they locked me up, kidnapped me because I'm outside their jurisdiction. I am outside their authority. And they locked me up, kidnapped me, gave me a notice of recognizance, and they didn't give me a notice of recognizance by way of a magistrate, by way of a parish court judge. That's one. Number two, they did not give me a notice of recognizance within a court of record. Or the only court of record is the Supreme Court. So that's number two. Police, Senior Sergeant A. Edwards, over 30 years, make a legal determination by arbitrarily abrogate and infringe upon my inherent dignity. As man, when him just decides that him go tow my automobile, him now give me a chance to present my case as a comeback to nothing at all. Him just tow my automobile because him friend who is police officer own the tow truck with camera car. So them want us me right there. And then the impound where them camera car is owned by the very state where I try hustle me. You understand? So under no circumstance make a pay not even a penny. Not even a penny. I, I said the constable at court has shared with me. I said, boy, this is where the location where, where the car is. This is the pound where the car is. This is where I'm telling me. You know. And I'll tell you the truth. I didn't record it. I don't even know where I'm talk about. I don't mean, know what the place where I'm at. It not interest me. I never take my car nowhere. So that not interest me. And then even I go as far as saying, remember the car is me as a listener, my car, you know, and them can keep I never take it. You must say, boy, remember it you know your mother name, you know, and me I say it's my car. Yeah, man. I'm gonna take my things illegally and unlawfully. I think never make any more. I won't spend a penny. You people, if you don't choose to do the right thing, will bring my car come right at my location. You know where I'm at, you know I'm not hiding. Get the very same tow truck. To make sure my kid and, and give me paperwork to show me the service. Because the last time I spent over $80,000 to service my car, I still have these receipts. The last time the police 
lost my car keys, I still have those receipts. You understand? And I never bring no claim against no one. I just say, all right, fuck, you know, charge it to the game and know that they're not supposed to mess with me anymore. So now here is this old broken down, uneducated, unlearned, dunce, senior sergeant of police from the Greater Portmore Police Station, 100 man. His name is A. Edwards. This old guy just naturally put me through all of this garbage. And here I am going to trial Thursday and them adjourn it and do them own thing and I play games. This old broken down sergeant of police have a young counselor for mess up this counselor career. He have a young counselor to take responsibility, shying away from his duty. Me even said to the young counsel, I said, listen, I'm going to have to bring a claim against you, because know, this is the process. And the young counsel looked for me and said, yeah, mama, know it, come on, you know? You understand? So, he might not know, say, I'm not personal. It's all about your birth certificate insurance and my birth certificate insurance, and them have a thing called commercial lien. I tell you, I already said, I kind of, you know, try my very best to apply myself, you know? But me have to always be merciful. And if you not said do this, I don't mind because I know I'm not going to have to pay any order we want to give. I'm not going to have to pay for that. Anybody who is associated with my case, all we don't hide. Just the case number coming up, your name is there on that it. One thing with these Romans, the Romans them keep meticulous records. And this is a Roman system. You people are employed by the Romans. My sister, my people are confounded. My sister, the judge can't even help herself. The only thing the judge could have do is try to ridicule me by just laughing at me. She never disrespect me. Actually, nobody in the court never disrespect me. Nobody wasn't rude. I can't say that much. At one point, me, I like a careless police woman, sit down on one side and I said, don't talk in your shirt. I just ignore her. Because I know that dumb woman there is just that. And Dumb suck up, suck up nothing at all. Come on, now, if you're a judge in front, you can't talk to me. Who the mess you think you talk to? Suck. This is why I say, I'm going to make some money pay. When I talk to me, I feel like I can't give me an order. All nigga, so no problem. Let me get your name and your number. And after I fulfill the order, I send you an invoice. Listen, when I send you them whole heap of money up on my invoice, you know. By nature, you know, just ignore it. And that is fine because it's called administrative process. You get me? On an acquiescence, on a silence, I got deem acquiescence. So it's the very same process you want to initiate on me. You notice when you give me a notice of recognizance, I acknowledge and accept that notice of recognizance and rebut it. And then you give me a witness statement, I acknowledge and accept that witness statement and rebut it. Now, I don't have nowhere car, I don't have to come a trial where I can create this fireworks in the court. Uh, the number one, the unlearned prosecutor can't speak in better first hand knowledge. Now, you're going to have Andel Morgan, who is that witness, who is supposed to be that victim, who is accusing me of a crime. He must have to demonstrate where. Have I done him wrong for him to be a victim? Where have I initiated any kind of damage to him? He must have, initiated, he must have approved these things. And it, it's impossible. Hence, I don't have no case. This is why I see this lady come in front and say she had judged. She wasn't rude. She just laughed. I couldn't even see her face too well. I know it's not the first lady. I'm changing her. But I know this lady have a black lip. I don't know if it's a lipstick she wear or, you know, she are one of my kind of people. You know what I mean? Because you have some people when I mine uh, you know, light some herbs and, you know, have the fragrance around them. Then I feel a party. So I don't know if she's one of my people or it's just a black lipstick. But I know she, I don't know bad people. She's just smart. She says she not get involved. And she, you know, act away for it, disqualify herself. Because everything is recorded, recorded in the court. People don't have to know that. But I don't go court. You have record camera, I record all your activity. You see, a man like me, 
them no mind a document me, because if me ever act any way, them just want an excuse. You understand? But the ones them who know me, them know me harmless. Yeah, them know say boy and that me rather give my life or protect somebody. You get me? More than in a rush to take anybody's life. The ones them who know me would know that. It's always when it's absolutely necessary. Yeah, in preserving yourself, your existence, always. Uh, you have that inherent work, you know, to protect yourself. So at no time a man go can deem me. Hey, the man there is this or that. And one thing again, when these people see me, they must say, no entourage. They can't say me gang affiliated and me influence. I can't influence nobody. It's only a handful of people view my contents. As many subscribers as I have, it's only a handful of people I see as views. And even less make comment. So I am no influencer here. I'm just a man free in the earth. A demonstrating freedom. And when this demonic system come with their agents to come challenge me, I stand to them test. I stand up for dominant, victorious. Even when the judge laugh at me. It's, you know, when I realize something strange is when it's only the judge and our court people let me laugh and I make noise. Normally when I talk in a court, the judge and the other people are serious, but everybody else are laugh. But this time, everybody's serious like them. I wonder what the mess are going on. What the joke there? Eh? You know what I mean? And the judge are dead with laugh. You're not a citizen and dead with laugh. And then the little mad woman, this little obi woman. You know when I, you have, you know when you're a child, some little girl with them a child and the mother comb out them ear and pull it out and plot it up back and pull out part of it and part for plot. This is how this woman head. I don't know if I her style. Probably she says she's African. But she's a whole pop down obia looking woman. I don't know who she can counsel. I don't know, yeah, I, must, yeah, I take pity on my people and I even take pity on these public servants because they're totally unaware. Some of them doing it. Some of them realize, say, boy, this way we are the wrong, but I just the work. Some of them really do and then I get involved. You understand? But yeah, some of them where it's just certain see, they are deep money. They're not mine. You know what I mean? I do the work of the devil. But I, as a righteous man, they have to slew them. To slow them in them personal capacity. To slow them in them public capacity. And to decimate them spiritually. Blood for blood out there. Tear down them bloodline. Erase it from the earth. Righteousness shall prevail. I don't have no case. I may have too much information. Listen to me clearly out there. I don't have no attorney. We can represent Uno against me. And Uno have no judge who learned enough to come sit in front of me. Not one. Uno have no judge who learned enough to come sit in front of this sovereign man, this righteous man, this Nestorian king. I remember, you hear me go on on this thing? This is because of YouTube. This is because we just present this information. I don't care some behave like this inside our court. I don't care some walk and strut myself in the public. When I don't see me, I don't see a little man that's easy, that's quiet. Yes. And that is the truth. Tell them the truth, Constable Andel Morgan. Tell them how I laugh with me after just a laugh at me. I don't find me comical. But tell them the real truth. So when I serve papers on the court, you, as the adverse witness, I forget people in your possession. And you know what that tell me? That tell me, say, I am in the driver's seat. Uh, uno in a default. Uno have to stand down. Now, uno, why have to come and defend full self against my claim? You think I'm going to play the games like yesterday? No. I bring it accordingly. I may mean, carry phone own information, phone own rules and regulations for decimate or not. Naturally. You are the accuser. Prove your case. Prove to me that so you have authority over me. Prove to me that so when you confiscate, thief my property, you are lawful in that act. 
When the brethren I tell me some I need for go pick up because I'm like me just laugh at him because I know I'm a worry. Them I worry now, you know. Because them know the judgment we are gonna reach them, you know. I wanna get more than enough opportunity for correct on yourself, cause see the body of information with this sovereign man bringing forward. And listen, I'm not going on my world birth certificate yet. I'm not going on my world passport yet. I'm not going on my Supreme Court of Record yet. I have no ground to stand down. I don't just say come forward and compensate me, give me a vehicle. Or you know, just watch me initiate a claim, what I'm going to ignore. And then it's a combination lean against on a birth certificate entity and any property where it own. And listen to me now. I don't know I'm not walking a crowd with a gang or nothing at all. So I don't know I'm not afraid of me. Not one of them afraid of In no capacity. At no time. And I don't have nobody in the lodge where can bring arm to me. I don't have no Obia man who no can go to for bringing no arm to the earth to me. You see, I don't to try that. The Obia man are dead instantly. And you say, oh no. On a favorite family member. You become dismembered. Three parts. I want to see three parts. I I going to come to memory. Righteousness I going to come to memory. There's only my clean hands and my pure heart. I don't dispute the fact that I do not use a driver's license. It not apply to me. I do not register no property with this foreign state. It does not apply to me. And I do not need no insurance to function. It does not apply to me. I have a birth registration form, which is the insurance to take care and satisfy all debts. Known or unknown. And we have these things on the public record as certificate of fact. So you say, on only for so-called people, we say, on a learn can bright. Me can call them a dunce. I'm mean, alone, you can call them a dunce. Because I can't match up to the little bit of information when you keep. That's why I'm a dunce, irrespective of which university I'm a come out of. I want to go internationally. You know, hear the information when I share, I say, on a dunce. I can't send nobody come to me nothing. And the politicians were lurk lurking in my community. Even them can't do me nothing. As I talk about that, I see an injustice the other day. I see where a, sh a shopkeeper right down the road from me have his place, his business place and his property demolished. And his property and equipment stolen by the Portmore Municipal Council. And I know it's the mayor's office that authorized them thing. And the mayor's office of PMP. Because mayor said GLP people come around here and say on them. People, when I see it, it break my heart. It hurt me more than when they take me care. Because when I look for Max, and I look in a Max face, all I could have do is bounce him face. Because I could have seen the hurt. Like the man I said, what me for do? I don't have no recourse. And I know mean, millions of months spent on him like a place. Yeah, peace, peace here and there. And then the work, man, we have to craft the work. You understand? For, for fit the thing in such a way. People, it is an injustice. Yo. Yo. And all they want the people for doing you know, is rail up and rebel and get crazy enough you know, for them set the people wrong and decimate the people. But you see, if Max did contact me when he get the first notice, I would have respond to the municipal. And I'm sure would have to go in a court and these illiterate, ungodly people wouldn't come destroy the man property. I wait for a video so I can put it on my YouTube and talk about it publicly. I'm not get the video yet. So you said these kind of injustice, that's why I'm in my burn politics. I can't choose PMP, I can't choose GLP. I don't like none of them. Only is a parasitic scum. We want states, man. We want man we're up for. We sick of you money grabbing whores. That's what one is. And that's not you guys are poor harlots out there. And a politician. Or I should say, yes, and a politician. You guys are not states, man. We burn politics in our life form. Yeah, I reject it because politics bring divide. Both sides. I reject it and it comes from some foreign white people. 
I reject politics. I reject the people that will participate in that political arena. For you are all what I'm called federal citizens. They are all property. They are all commodity. I burn the system for the system and oppress my people and make our people create divide against each other. I burn this foreign system. I burn this demonic construct. I have said that. Which other guy? Is I have said that. I'm stepping on the court and all of them could have do a laugh at me. And me so know so that is just a disguise. Because here is a document I'm presenting at your court. And just this document mash it up. So now I come beg for make deal. Here the little woman I tell me say not loony. One charge is fifty thousand dollars, and next charge is thirty thousand dollars, and she read out the road traffic act to me. And she now read the road traffic act with the, the, the era them when you got direct on to you know. She read some little bullshit part where it does not apply. These dunce people like to play games, but them smart enough for not put their name under an order. So it's because I will never submit because I'm telling them I'm preparing them. Me prepare for when them say lock him up and carry him got GP and give him 100,000 years. I, I prepare for God do my time. Because I know that he's an innocent man. I know that you people now have no jurisdiction. I know that you people have everything you want to do up on the ramp. And I know that a day will come when I go stand up powerful and strong and get the opportunity to return the favor, to retaliate and to decimate for no estate. It shall happen. So it's going on. But we have to walk this walk and show on make on expose ourselves. Make on expose on legality and on illegality. And on I do it. Or if you care, I'm gonna try and I can make me offer. You must be a or you sell your wares. I tell you, you got trial. I don't want nothing from you. You can't offer me nothing, Sadamite. You can't offer me nothing, demon. Devil, you can't tempt me. Yeah, man. Me now make no plea deal with you, devil. Me reject your offer, devil. Come prove your case, devil. This is how you hear me sound. This is the confident when I move with which crown agent boy. It's contract. The moment you interact me, if me not agree with you, you trespass. It's one million US dollar contract. So you say, yo, senior sergeant of police, I'm going to lay a one million dollar claim, and that is only one claim against you. All nastiness. I'm going to have to go lay the same claim against you, my good brethren, Consul Andal Morgan, because your name jump up the front paper. And your little Mickey Mouse bun I mean nothing because when I'm done with you, I don't think you'll be able to work in the public arena anymore. And you see, you court personnel, that little sadamite man when he be Kelly, I don't know who that punk is, but my spirit say he might be a flaming sissy. I don't know who that clown is. We're trying to underwrite a knowledgeable man like me, bun playing games. Devil boy, you have a bird surfing ticket. And go ask Richard James, a you out there in Kingston. Go ask him about me. Cause him was one way that run away. Now a year turn demonic boy. No respect for your sodomite. None at all. This is how me deal with don't wanna try me. No respect. Cause I'm gonna bring forward you and your information and you better not be a sodomite. All when he have a wife, because Nigel Clark, the flaming sissy, but he have a trophy wife apart with, when he have big nasty Saddam. Burn them! Run them! Yeah, this is my platform. This is my arena. This is my jurisdiction. I govern yes, That's why my talk can go on, so Free speech! Try to do myself now. Remember, you know. Tell me, you know, blood for blood. I want to say, when Fono, favorite family member, body part, separate in a three piece, then never know. So the most I did say it, blood for blood. 
I don't want to destroy me, you know, but me not care. Uh, me a decimate, you know, but you know, think I just, you know, me a going down the bloodline, I be a one, me a one, you know, and me a go on an opportunity, you know, bring on a case. You can't bring a case, you know, in a default. You get me? Bring back me care, come put it right here, say in a port more, you want to take it from. Now tell me about nowhere, you want to bring me care, because I never bring it there. Make it stay there and rotten. And the same way my care, I go stay and rotten. All I want, I go to sit down and watch the loved ones and rotten down like me care. Yeah, man, I will feel dead, dead. But you know, I go, no, you know, go, I when you come to remembrance. You know, I go, when you know, shut you know, yeah, you know, I go see the image of this, yeah, man, in all variations. Yeah, only because I'm righteousness, you know. It's only because I'm righteousness, because I'm mean, not doing nothing. It's only because I'm a clean hands, I'm a pure heart. I'm going to go and face this judgment. You think the judge them, you know, watch how them are run. Because enough of them high in a science and sorcery. Enough of them always in a necromancy. But me, I tell them, I say, you can't touch me. And when you see me start chant, anytime you see me go light a fire and drop my bloody knife, I me start chant, I start cry, and I start fire dance a judgment. Every time me have a significant case, earthquake touch the earth, and you know, 2019, you know, the same thing. And Thursday night, I'm still on right here in my office. And when me tell us that the earth has shaked the place, I'm a ah, little chair, rock out, me have to drop some nail in it. Yeah, man, earthquake. Tell us that the elements will move with you. Know. You know, you hear how I sound? I sound like I'm afraid of you people. And all I don't know, sir. I don't know which part I live. I never sleep with my place open. Me are probably one of the only money can just come knock me up and step and give me a check. Yet. No, no, I can't pass my seal and my gate. Can't pass it. You're dead. Yeah, man. And not just you, because we said blood for blood. But wipe out bloodline. We make everything run on a bloodline become non existent. Now you're on talk. I don't know me in a bad man. I don't know me in a gangster. I don't know me in a obia man. Word, sound, and power. Anyway, I could touch upon this document. Yeah. As they are them familiar, same kind of heading, same kind of heading. Now it's a acknowledgement of police witness statement and notice of intention to defend. This is a document. I'm going to get file stamp. The lady will file stamp this document. Beautiful lady. So different from the regular clerk, one little nappy head woman. Where you know when you know one pay your best friend to do your ear and you just do it yourself, you just have some piece of string, 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 um, you know, touch it up on your head, or them kind of tacky look that this cashier have. And she's just a little clerk. She look like she never have enough knowledge for reading and write properly. But when she know that they like she gone for lunch, more times she have some substitute or the good people in at the back who just come in for like a half an hour or an hour and fill in. Now I met one of those one. I never really met her. She just initial me thing when I really put up that one there. Uh, when the people are beautiful, I salute and respect and honor them. But if I kill this one there, whether they as a regular clerk, trash that. Straight trash. It's the government of Jamaica, Dunn's number. Insolvent agency, right? They said remove all jurisdiction from this 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 fictional entity. Does this document kill them? You understand? And it said before two witnesses. You hear that? Not now. Justice of the peace. Yeah, me ignore that. Cause my authority is way above justice of the peace office. Way above that. Yeah, my knowledge base is above all of them. Period. So I'm going to need that. So before two witnesses personally appeared, Lincoln O'Neill Dallas, who being duly affirm and identify in accordance with the Code of Canon Law 12, Section 1, Section 2, Section 3, and 13, Section 1, Section 2, 2, depose and say, them can look up that. My public juridic title is Lincoln O'Neill Dallas. I'm going to give them the number for the title right here. With attached account. I'm going to give them the number for the account. The identifying number for the entity. And the identifying number for the account. Defendant hearing. What kind of document more expressive? 
I have read but do not understand the attached foregoing complaints, i.e. police witness statement filed with the notice of recognizance. 2nd of May, 2023. Received 17th of July, 2023. May I show them fraud how them do them work, you know. Set for trial 22nd of September, 2023, which was Friday, by Constable Andrel Morgan, and this is his insurance number. Each fact alleged herein is true and correct of my own personal knowledge. So I not dispute the fact that whatever them are saying do, I not dispute that. Right? Respectfully presenting without prejudice. And it's the entity, I'm going to give them the signature initial style. And then it's my two witnesses. The mouth of two or three witnesses shall establish a matter. Some of them are allow much higher than them, you know, them children of luck. Yeah. Yeah, man. Sit. And it's my witness. I'm a witness. And this witness. Yeah. So them can't complain and say the car, note or whatever, whatever. Car, so the witness, yeah. Yeah, man. That's my mother. Yeah. Yeah, man. So I have no joke or thing. And then it's a certificate of service. Under penalty of perjury, I certify that a copy of the foregoing was provided by regular mail, meaning email, to the liable parties. Administrative adjudication examiner, Her Honor Miss K. Looney. I don't know if I butcher the name, but you're on diet. Your name there, you're coming front me. So you're de on diet. You're under the judgment. Righteous man bring judgment in the earth. You never know. You know, worship, you know, necromancy, you know, lodge, you know, phobia. You know, never know. Yeah, man, and the administrative adjudicative clerk, this in this this entity right here, this is the culprit. This is the one where I, I, I push the paperwork. So this this demonic entity, you know, me, I go at this demonic entity and decimate it easily. Um, the Romans keep meticulous records. And this demonic mother, F.I.R., he not have nothing upon the table, but he might bring claim out here. And I authorize these police officers to do all kind of nonsense. And I bring it in a court that talk about legal process. When them I present fraud upon the court. This little demonic D. Kelly. Hey, yo, me have, me have no respect for you. Because I don't know you. I've never seen you before. I know nothing about you. But Sadamite boy. I know you know of me, Sadamite boy. Because you underrate my bond, Sadamite boy. I'm never decimate you and your clan, Sadamite boy. G. Kelly. Laugh at me in court, but it's not who get the first laugh, you dummy. It's who get the laugh. You think of the judge of the problem? The judge is only the referee. The judge of problem when she should look, she said the the, the, the government to bring a case, and when she looked, she goes, she said, boy, I present my case. That's where the problem come in. So it's not business as usual anymore. Now you got to put on your thinking caps. Now you got to get the people who are learned, not these Mickey Mouse paper pushers, you done set up for you. This is a simple man. This is a plain man. Greenwich Farm meal from Went to Tivoli Garden High School. And that was it. My great and then of the U.S. Returned home and they all lived peaceful, loveful. You know what I mean? And then this foreign agent said, with their little flunkies as agent, decided to perplex my tranquility. Man will interfere with the next man's affair. Or a next man's liberty. He does so at his own peril. That's a maxim of law. That's a principle of law. Every man have a right to protect and preserve his estate. Every man have that right. And every man have a right to decide his own destiny. Every man have that right. So I'm not play for bond them, you know. Yeah, man. And this is the next side to the paper, to the document. It says, this document is a matter for the public record. This is when we get my stamp beauty downtown. I'm going to put it on the counter recorder and secure it 
a certificate of fact for when I place this lawsuit at them, they cannot rebut this certificate of fact. They will acquiesce and they will have to leave me alone. Yeah, man. Because them now go on pay no money. Them go on play a game, but at least these demonic mother effers will have to leave me alone, leave my people alone, leave my people who associate with me alone. Judgment in other earth. Yeah, man. So it's a general affidavit, the adverse witness. The government of Jamaica, I'm going to put on them Dunn's number, Public Trustee, Police Service Commission, County, Middlesex. So I'm work it. I'm going to say before the two witnesses personally appeared, the undersigned beneficiary, Linton Hyphen Honeil, comma, Dallas. On this day, 7th September 2023, known to us to be a credible person that has attained the age of majority in accordance with Canon 97, Section 1, and Canon 98, Section 1, who been duly affirmed on his oath disposed and say, I am the legal title holder and beneficiary. That means I may have legal title and may have the beneficial interest in the title. So I may have both legal and equitable title. As beneficiary, may have equitable title. So I may have both title. Unite right here with this statement. Understand? So this is how me are perfect my claim right in front of them. Them can't rebut these things. Yeah, man, beneficiary of the public juridic person known as Linton O'Neill Dallas, and this is its number and an an identifying number, and it has an account, and it has an identifying number, and as a public record number eight o o nine. Island Records Office. So I can go look it up. Look up the information on a place on the public record or certificate of fuck and then I stand down. Going on a little nasty old. I do not consent to this unlawful proceeding, nor do I surrender any inherent divine rights. This is why the judge will laugh at me, because you know that this document is right here. So I may even have to come and quote. This document is right there. You understand? I now withdraw the coerced, innocent, not guilty plea made to the administrative adjudication examiner under duress and waive all compelled benefits. This is why this woman is session now get involved. It appears the state administrative agency and its agent are in violation of the Code of Canon Law 10. An act is null etc. All particulars, the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom Constitutional Amendment Act, 8 April 2011, Section 13, Subsection 2B, and it states, Parliament shall pass no law and no organ of the state shall take any action which abrogates, abridge, or infringe those rights and freedoms on appeal with my inherent dignity as man, divine common and natural law rights. Pursuant to the Road Traffic Act of 1st April 1938, Part 2, Regulation of Motor Vehicle, Section 11, 1D, Classification of Motor Vehicle. Listen, when we said the Act from April 1, 1938, this is the very first Act. And what's first in time is truest. So when you come and show me some little thing where you know create now, you know dance self. We can go back to what? Create what you know amend. Because without the first instance, you can't amend nothing at all. Simple as that. So this very acts a private motor car, not being vehicle classified as commercial motor cars, constructed solely for the carriage of guests and their effects and used exclusively for personal purposes. This is why they're afraid of the trial. God, this is their rules. And it said, pursuant to the Road Traffic Act, 1st of April 1938, Part 4, Regulation of Commercial Motor Car, Section 78, Subsection 1A and D. Now it's a regulation of commercial 
motor cars. So them only can com regulate commercial activities. So when my car is outside of commerce, Sada might not talk to me. You know, I have no jurisdiction to talk to me. From me, I have a vehicle that is unregistered. It means me not in a commerce. It means, it means that me supposed to. There is no law where I tell me that me supposed to contract with you. I'm obligated to contract with you. I'm subjected to contract with you. There's no such thing. You cannot get my free will. Yeah. I may live this way. Truly. With no hesitation for burning up in an all own capacity. Yeah, man. So all you can do is regulate commercial motor vehicle. When the vehicle is outside of commerce, go and go talk to no mother. You get me? But talk to no mother. Don't come talk to people where free. Talk to no mama. So we have to deal with them and deal with them raw. No respect. Regulation of commercial motor vehicle section 78 subsection 1A and B. Prohibits commercial motor cars except under the carriage license. And subsection 2A express the meaning of a commercial motor car and stipulate non-commercial use where it say, provided that a vehicle used by its owner in pursuit of his profession or business for his personal conveyance shall not be deemed to be a commercial motor car. So what now say? These learned people I know this. They think them can't read. Eh? A them thing I may use on judgment, them untidy people here, you know. Them ungodly people here, you know. Them criminal people here, you know. This is why this woman here tell me to negotiate with her. About 50,000 or 50,000 as she can do. Woman, me have a one billion dollar lawsuit while seal up under your nastiness and then I go and put a commercial lien on your estate. Nasty woman. Only because you attach yourself to this case. Everyone will attach themselves to this docket. I get a commercial lien place against one. Naturally. And watch me now. Me I manifest it publicly. So you see the people them where I can catch it, them will get it. And if it go over some people's head, then we'll have it for later. But this is judgment on an outer order nasty dance. I also Reserve all civil rights, including the right to file a statement of claim for the abridgment, abrogation, and infringement of my inherent dignity as man, freedom of movement, divine, common, and natural law rights, guaranteed by section 13, subsection 2a of the charter under the code of common law, enforced by federal rules of civil procedure, respectfully presented without prejudice. Done. Thursday, this day, September 7, 2023. The two witnesses, see that? Adverse witness, common commercial oath, verification, affirmation, duly signed and sealed by the undersigned executor and beneficiary, Linton Hyphen O'Neill, comma, Dallas, under his unlimited liability, proceeding in good faith, being of sound mind, having first and knowledge, now testify, affirm, state, and declare that the foregoing is true and correct. So be it executed, and by this execution be made to appear indeed, enacted, and decreed. Yeah, so this document going to them court. So when me if you have trial, them not bother come with no trial. Them not try to tell myself a deal. Unbeknownst to them, me not deal with no devil. Me not make no deal with no sodomite. Me not make no deal with no criminal organization. Because I find you no guilty. I find you no wanting. And you only have six months to manifest what you do. So when this little untidy woman with her black lip I talk about next year, she don't even know what she has done. Thank you, lady. Thank you. You understand? So now I'm my move. You know what I mean? Yeah. Lawful and correct. Yeah. No fear. Hey. The people them laugh at me too. Hey. Them laugh at me. I felt naked in the court. 
uh, is only the judge and some of my little friends, a couple of little friends. Uh, normally, when I talk, the whole court lift up on the judge, them now too, you know. But it's only the judge and our friend, them laugh. Them laugh, yo, I felt naked. If me never have confidence, you know, in my physical structure, you know, I'm a healthy autonomy, then would I be ashamed. But because me know, say, the most I totally bless me, I just stand up, you know, confident and, you know, just humble myself and, you know, play me a loaf role, you know, and, you know what I mean? And just, you know, say, I'm going to get the opportunity to present my case, because it's all public, but they want to keep it private. It's not going to be private, it's all public. So now, the laughter I want to have, I endure it. Now, we're going to have the whole world and listen to my tape, uh, you know, end up and laugh at it. I tell my first lady, say, boy, you know, me have to really take up comedy. Yeah, but for the past year or so, I've never laughed as much as I've laughed in all my life. Yeah, man, it's, it's you know, I'm, I really feel good and I like me depressed, frustrated or nothing. In fact, the total opposite. I'm booming. Yeah, man, with life, laughter and joy, you know. And truly, I give thanks. I must say, it's a because these people take home care. Yeah, my mother tell me, say, boy, the bus problem, and then she'd have it rain, and she'd have to catch up somewhere and rain wet her brethren, a beer fever from Friday night. I, I lick down my old lady, me have to jump around and ask her what she need, and you know what I mean? Then she has this headache. And me have to say, if me have my care, and there is emergency, because my mother a tough lady, you know. She now called me and said, Ray, but if she jump up on the emergency, I said, Little, come pick me up, me there town, or me there across the road, or me there, and me I just jump on my car and pick her up. And because these demonic people feel the need for, for, for mess with a man such as I, a sovereign man in a sovereign state capacity, free man. I could have heard some boy, I could have gone downstairs and said, My mother lay up dead. And when I got to the whole root type, it's because me and a dead. But she can naturally call on and say, come get me, emergency, rain or whatever it is. And then you people, I'm quite sure this old policeman have a nice Subaru. I'm quite sure even my little young constable, he might not have my car yet, but he might have a in them to take him around. And if he have any problem, he call anyone I'm money in blue. He say, go pick up my mother there so car, she no problem. While me not have them access there. You get me? My mother can't call the police and say emergency. They must say, yo, I'm only if other people have more serious emergency. Go and shut out here and everything. There. And when she's for call upon her son, which this is why I'm here, you can't do nothing. I tell them to say blood for blood. They have only going to comprehend. I'm going to comprehend. I want to not mess with a man like I, righteous. You know, I'm so confident, so I can't do me nothing. No time at all. I can't do me nothing at all. I can't say nobody come to me nothing. I can't okay, go in on a graveyard with a neck of man sit. Because my thing, I come right back in on tenfold. Right back in on a face tenfold. Judgment. Not afraid. Yet, we're so merciful out here. We are taking with time out here. I want to still make a mess of myself. I went to court Thursday. Saying, for a trial. But because I send the court administrative division, Chad, them get this notice. I'm going to send the police service commission this notice. So I'm going to know the young police have to get it. I'm going to send it to the court. And then I walk in and place the document on the court and get my stamp. Get it file stamp to prove that they received notice. Watch me now. I know what I'm saying. No. Yeah, I know what I'm not even think. It's an ancient say. It's an ancestral thing. And them boy are teeth for birthright, them teeth for inheritance, them teeth for heritage. And we have our own people at work for them foreign pirates. Yeah. Some of them knowingly, some of them unknowingly. And we have to, you know, shine light on these people and judgment them in the earth. I think we're not get where a spiritual battle it name, you know. When I come at me spiritually, I'm knowing us, I'm a fortify myself, you know. Make my neighbor them tell you how me chant and pray. When I chant and pray, I'm a neighbor them get afraid. Everybody quiet the place, quiet when they hear my chanting. 
quiet. So I have to chant and pray every day that I never do me start lax and get relaxed. But now every day I'm gonna chant and pray guys. Judgment in this earth. Righteousness of his stand up. Righteousness of the permeate. Truth of a manifest. On a parish court, now have no truth. On a parish court, fail for I have trial and on a fail for presenting a trial case. I don't come half from a plea deal like no one plea. I don't, I don't negotiate with demons. I don't negotiate with sadamans. I don't negotiate with harlots. I don't negotiate with whore. Yeah. For your bun. Your demonic system. Yeah. One man coming on earth right now. And it is I. And me I show myself fire burn for no statutory fake law on earth. That we say righteousness. Yeah, man. <laughs> so people, at this are where the people have run from, you know? And by law, them have to run. Yeah, man. By law, them have to run. Yeah, man. By law, them are fear right now. What do you think we do? Just sit down and play twiddle thumb. No, man, we study, man. Because them say you have to study for show yourself approved. So when I play, man, we study, man. We study night and day. So now little Mickey Mouse, Sadamite girl can't come in front to come talk like them know law. Yeah. Because uh, judge is presumed to know law. And it is always rebuttable. And it go all the way to the appellate court. And I am on a rebuttal and say, I'm far removed from law. I don't have access to law because I'm not a God. And I heal the most high creator of nature who I call God. That supreme power. So fire burn for all other. <laughs> Out there free people. That one might be a bit long. Forgive me. You know, I like it short and spicy you now. So forgive me. Honor. Oh, Honorable. Oh, Out there.